I tell you guys, I've had a love-hate relationship with GoPro Hero action cameras going all the way back since 2012 since I started this channel. I've done over 2,000 moto vlogs on all the different motorcycles. It provided a lot of great footage, but you know what? There's been a lot of problems that I've had with GoPro Hero cameras over the years, especially the newer ones where these things freeze up, the batteries don't last long, the audio gets screwed up or something. It's always something, man, with these GoPro Hero cameras. And I've been waiting for a camera that I could replace this sap sucker with. And I think I may have found it with this new DJI Action 4 camera. So I'm going to do some testing in this video. We're going to see if the sound quality, video quality, how long the batteries last. But I'm telling you, also, I don't have to worry about batteries with this camera. I'm gonna, And I'm going to tell you why. Let's go for a ride. Subscribe today. I purchased the DJI Osmo Action 4 Adventure Combo Pack and accessories, which I have links to in the description and comment section of this video. This is the official audio adapter for the camera, which will allow you to use a power bank and external mic. And this is another adapter that I picked up in case that one doesn't work. With this Adventure Combo Pack, you get a battery case that allows you to charge three batteries at a time, and you can use it as a power bank. Here's the Action 4 camera, very similar in size to the GoPro, but you don't have to use that stupid media mod like you do on the GoPro to plug in an external mic and it's much easier putting in and taking out the battery. You get a cage but I don't use this for my motovlog setup. You get a curved adhesive mount you can put on your helmet but I use my old GoPro mount and two quick release magnetic mounts in two different sizes. Also two locking screws, a lens hood, and anti-slip pad. Type C PD cable and of course a selfie stick that extends out really far. Before I show you the riding footage, this is my Motovlog helmet camera setup. This is my ultra lightweight carbon fiber helmet that comes with an automatic tent shield. I have a link to this helmet, which is my favorite helmet and all my gear here in the description and comment section of this video. This is my old GoPro Hero setup. Look at this audio adapter. Look how big that is. Or you can use a, a media mod, which is even worse for the GoPro Hero in my opinion. But check this out. For the Action 4, look at this little box here, guys, which I have a link to, by the way. This is a must-have for motovloggers. Look at that. You can plug in a power bank and external mic, and it works beautifully. As for this one, I sometimes I can use a power bank, sometimes I don't. So I stopped doing it all together, and I just started using batteries. And then when it's cold, the GoPro Hero batteries only last for like one or two videos. It sucks. So that's why I really needed to get rid of my GoPro Hero. And by the way, I am not sponsored by DJI. I paid for this. But what I love about this setup here, guys, is that I, I have my stereo mic for a change here. Uh, by the way, I have a link to how to set your helmet up for a Motovlog setup in the top right corner. I'll put it in there for you. And I have the cord coming out the back. As you can see, I have this routed along the side to the back. So that you can move your head around, no problem. You can plug this into a power bank, which I have a link to this power bank. And I put it in a pouch, and I put this in the pocket of my jacket. Okay, so that way I can ride all day, don't have to change batteries, and it works beautifully. Okay, here's the finished setup with the power bank plugged in and the external mic. I don't have a battery in it currently. As you can see, it turned on right away. I will tell you this, guys. If you decide to go with this setup, make sure you get this thick cable. I have a link to this in the description and comment section of the video. Don't get those thin ones because they don't last. So, And always put a battery in your camera when you motovlog so that way if the, the cable fails or the power bank fails, you'll still have footage. First off, I want to tell you I'm not sponsored by DJI at all. They did not send this camera out to me. I paid full price for this camera and accessories. So I'm giving you an unbiased review. I'm going to keep it real. If it's junk, I'll tell you. Uh, so we're going to do full testing here. By the way, I have a link to this uh, camera and all the accessories along with all my awesome gear, like my favorite helmet, ultra lightweight carbon fiber helmet that comes with an automatic tent shield, gauntlet gloves, winter jacket. All my links to all my gear is in the description and comment section of this video. I do have the gain drop down to minus 12. I have this set at 4K60. Up, I have it on Rocksteady, not Rocksteady Plus, and we have it in ultra wide. By the way, uh, the camera that's filming me right now is a GoPro Hero camera. We're on my uh, Yamaha MT07. This is a 2022 that I bought just last year. Got it fully modded. Got an Akrapovich exhaust there. 
So we'll see how this mic picks up external sound. So I'm hoping that you can hear the bike too and not just me. So we're going to do a, a full gamut of testing here. Hopefully you can hear that awesome exhaust. Ah, it does sound good, doesn't it? I hope you can hear it with this new camera and mic. Okay. From the footage that I've seen from other motor vloggers, uh, it looked good. So we'll see in my video. Yeah, baby, MT07. <laughs> All that grunt, baby. All right, man. Uh, I'm praying, praying that everything looks good, sounds good. Because, like I said, I'm ready to chuck these GoPro Hero cameras for something new. This new DJI Action 4 camera. Um, as you can see here, it's very overcast as usual in the winter time here in Cleveland. Well, I don't know if it, we're technically in winter yet, but we're close to it. And uh, this is the typical overcast Cleveland weather. <laughs> but hey, man, I'm riding. You know what I'm saying? It's 53 degrees outside. What else could I ask for? So, um, but like I said, I have the audio set at uh, minus 12. I do have a Sony ECM uh, microphone. It is stereo, and it's set on stereo. And, uh, oh, baby, a torque. <laughs> yeah, loving this bike, man. MT-07. Yeah, baby. <laughs> Yeah. So, but I would tell you this, guys. I've had so much trouble out of GoPro Heroes, and I tell you, they just seem to get worse with the newer ones. They keep pumping up the resolution. I think the new ones have like 5K um, resolution, 5.3 or whatever resolution. Uh, but I tell you, what good is it if the sucker doesn't work <laughs> half the time or you got all kinds of problems, man? You know what I'm saying? I got this DJ Action 4 on 4K. That's all I need. I don't normally even re uh, record in 4K. I normally record in 2.7K on my GoPro Hero cameras. But I always film it in 60 frames per second. Because sometimes I like to catch scenes out here. Whether it be a, a motorcycle riding by me or whatever. And I like to get a clear shot of that. So I always record at 60 frames per second. And uh, we out here in the rich hood. <laughs> the country rich suburb big beautiful homes out here yeah baby oh man I love this MT-07 <laughs> yeah baby good times but yeah you you guys don't don't know how much footage that I've lost over the years because of a faulty GoPro Hero. Um, I remember one time I got some aftermarket batteries and put it in the GoPro Hero, man. I filmed like a bunch of videos, man. And uh, came home and I... I came home and I had absolutely no sound <laughs> in the videos. All day long, what turned out to be a big waste because of that stupid GoPro Hero camera that I had. And... Um, Oh man, like I said, I've had so many problems with the GoPro Hero cameras over the years, uh, especially in cold weather, man, because we're right now in the 50s from here going forward all the way until probably about May. It'll be in the, four, you know, anywhere from the, the 30s to the 50s, because I, I don't ride in anything, any temperature less than 35. But, uh, but the batteries don't last long on those GoPro Heroes when it's cold. Even on the new cameras, they, they claim that it's better, but it isn't, man. Supposedly, this DJ Action 4 camera, supposedly, you can, uh, it's, it's pretty good in cold weather and all. And it's just what everybody's saying, it's a, a more superior product over the GoPro Hero cameras. And uh, so we'll see. This is my very first motor vlog riding with it. And hopefully it turns out okay. Now I'm testing this DJI Action 4 in low light conditions. Right now it's almost nighttime here, so it's pretty dark. 
and uh, comparing it to my GoPro Hero footage and supposedly they say it gets better low light uh, performance it does have a bigger sensor I tell you one thing I don't like about this camera right off the jump is that sometimes when you plug in the microphone it doesn't recognize it so you won't have any audio if it doesn't recognize the ex external mic Testing one, two, three. Testing one, two, three. I hope this works. I don't know if this works or not. So that that's one issue I have a prob you know, problem with. I'm very curious to see how the low light performance is on this bike. I don't ride at night much anyhow. Actually, the GoPro's footage looks a little better in low light conditions, but I have it set to auto where it will automatically lower the frames per second in low light. Now for the Action 4, I have it at 4K 60 frames per second, but I don't know how to set it to auto detect or whatever. I, I need to learn the settings on this, but I don't ride at night anyhow, so it's not a big deal for me. Obviously, this is not a highly technical review. This is more about being practical, at least for my usage as a moto vlogger. And here are the pros and cons I have so far. I love the uh, quick magnetic mounting system. The battery does last longer and seems to charge quicker than my GoPro Hero batteries. I love that little audio adapter and I can use a power bank successfully. I've had zero issues with that. I love the battery case charger and it can be used as a power bank as well. I love that it has a bigger sensor. It does have more detailed video. I feel like the video quality is better than GoPro Heroes. Out of all those bikes, this 450 Supermoto was the most fun ever. Oh man, I love this MT-07. <laughs> yeah, baby. Yeah, baby. Oh man, I love this MT-07. This 450 Supermoto was the most fun ever. Uh, it has an easy to navigate menu system easy to load and remove the battery and the micro SD card which by the way make sure you get the right micro SD card because most of my SD cards didn't work I'll, I'll include a link to the one that I have as far as the cons the biggest issue I had with the camera is that it didn't recognize my external mic a couple of times when I had to unplug the audio adapter and replug it in a couple of times but I didn't lose any footage but it was kind of irritating uh, so maybe that's a quirk. I don't know. Maybe that can be improved and update or I'll, I'll call customer service and get that hammered out. But that's not a deal breaker because I didn't lose any footage. Um, as far as the external mic sound in the helmet, it sounded OK, but still not as good as the GoPro Hero, in my opinion. The GoPro Hero, you can hear the bikes sound rich along with your voice as whereas the DJI kind of just focuses on your voice and you can barely hear the bike. You don't hear it as well. This is why I love this bike. This, oh my gosh, the torque off the line. Woo! Oh, man. <laughs> awesome exhaust. Ah, it does sound good, doesn't it? I hope you can hear it with this new camera and mic. So we'll see in my video. Yeah, baby, MT-07. <laughs> But maybe that can be improved with an update, you know, through firmware in the future. So as far as the field of view, I like the Action 4's ultra wide field of view better than the Super View on the GoPro. And I don't like anything wider than Super View on the GoPro. I'm, I'm keeping this camera. I love so many other features as you see. Please leave a comment below and let me know how you think this camera performed in this video. Make sure to hit thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button, hit that little bell symbol so you get notified when I release my new videos. But I release new videos every Sunday, Tuesday, and Thursday at 11.30 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Check out my playlist for new riders and popular videos. Don't forget to comment and subscribe and check out my other channel, Bug Out Moto, where I customize a van for my motorcycle so I can live in my van with my motorcycle and travel across the country anywhere. Subscribe to my YouTube channel, Bug Out Moto.